Bun 1.3 is finally here and it is packed with so many bantastic new features. This update adds wild new features like HTML file serving, super fast hot reload, smaller production builds, and even cross-platform executables. So in today's video, we'll cover this update and make you update your bun. My jacket is really noisy. First, let's talk about the front-end development. Like I said, you can now run HTML files directly with Bun. This is going to be super useful, especially to those of us who use LLMs to generate HTML and JavaScript apps. Like, I could just use Bun instead of running npx http server command. So how do you do this? How can you run HTML with this new Bun? It's actually pretty easy. All you need to do is run Bun space the name of your HTML file and that's it. Or if you have multiple HTML files inside of a, um, I don't know, a directory, you can just use regular expressions to get all of those HTML files and they'll have their very own routes. Just like this. Now while we're here, the next update is the hot module replacement for front-end dev server. Check this out. I'm just gonna erase the title and change the title to subscribe to, there we go. You can see it is updating while I'm typing. Subscribe to Weekly How. I know to some of you guys this might not be that cool, but to me it is. <laughs> now the next update is the new production build command. When it's time to build for production, you can just run bun build with a flag production. For this example, I can now build the HTML file and the scripts and the CSS files that were referenced in the HTML file. They're going to be included in the production build. And as you can see, it is much smaller compared to the previous use files. The next update that you should know with bun 1.3, you can now bundle, get it, bundle, both front-end and back-end applications in the same build. So if you're building a full-stack applications, you can just, you can now have front-end and back-end, you can compile them into a single file, and it makes it so much easier to deploy it instead of, you know, having one deployment for back-end and one deployment for front-end. You just have one. Now let's move on to the bundler and build. This time, Bun's bundler... I should stop. <laughs> this time, Bun's bundler adds programmatic compilation, cross-platform builds, and smarter minification in 1.3. If somehow you don't want to use the Bun CLI, you can just build your apps programmatically using the build API. You just need to import the build function and specify the entry points and the out file and set the compile property to true. I honestly have no idea why this is needed or who would want this or yeah, who would use this. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. I'm honestly curious. The next update I want to mention is the cross compile executables. With Bun 1.3, you can now build executables for different operating systems. All you have to do is use the flag target and specify the operating system and the architecture. I'm going to be honest, this one, I'm not sure if it's working because I tried it and it's giving me this error. And I also tried it with the new app with the new version and it's also not working so i'm not sure if it's skill issue or if it's a bug anyway for us developers we finally have better typescript experience now bun is using the module preserve instead of the previous es next and also with bun 1.3 you can now control how deep the console.log displays your objects now to me the best update in bun 1.3 is the performance this release finally uses JavaScript core's garbage collector directly with Bun's event loop. This reduced the idle CPU by 100 times and lowered the idle memory by 40%. That is huge improvements. And that's going to save a lot of money when you host your Bun apps. If you go to the official release blog, you'll be able to see all of the performance improvements and it is crazy. You can see that they worked so hard for this release. So yeah, huge congratulations to the Bun team. Now, some of the updates here were already mentioned in the previous release, which I already talked about in the previous video at Better Stacked. Shout out to 10k people who watched that video, by the way. And to those of you guys who mentioned my channel, you guys did not disappoint. And also, shout out to Better Stacked. I love you guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend that they're watching this video. So yeah, this is massive. Obviously, there are more that needs to be said, like the seamless migration. If you're using other package managers like NPM, PNPM, or Yarn, it's so much easier to migrate to Bun. 
You don't need to do configurations. All you need to do is run bun install and that should migrate your package manager to bun. One more command that is going to be super useful is the bun update with a flag interactive. This command will let you see all the dependencies and you can update them this way. There's also the bun y command if you want to know why the package is installed. So that is bun 1.3, the biggest release of bun this year. What are your thoughts on this? Are you already using it? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, please give it a like and subscribe to Weekly How if you want to see more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.